The blunderbuss is the newest weapon in New World. It scales off strength for its primary stat and intelligence for its secondary stat. But it's more complicated than that. The intelligence attribute 3 gives us a lot of damage buffs if we combine it with an int gem. So in this video, I want to test what's the base stats for the blunderbuss. Is it strength or intelligence? I'll also be testing burn duration, so make sure to watch until the end for that. First, I'm going to test the auto attacks of the blunderbuss. The way I'm going to calculate the damage is by measuring the damage per pallet and not the complete shot. So I'm only going to be measuring the damage per pallet. So let's dive into the first test, just the regular auto attack, comparing 300 strength and 300 int. I kept the damage the same or at least the gear stats the same so that we can have an even match so let's take a look at the first auto attack so if you look at the base numbers of the lander bus if we scale from 300 strength we get 328 damage per pallet and then we go to int if we look at int we get 276 damage per pallet and obviously strength is going to win out here since its primary stat is strength but what would happen if we also include a gem here i go with an int gem so 50 percent of my damage will scale from int so let's take a look at how that goes and then i'll break down the damage after that Combining the auto attack with an int gem, the numbers get a lot closer for strength. Strength still wins out, but not by a lot. We get 328 strength and then we get 323 int. So the damage numbers are a lot closer. But what about headshot damage? What about crit if we compare the two? Since in the intelligence tree, we also get a damage modifier for critical hits so let's see how much we can do with critical hits first i'll be testing the normal shots so that we can get a base number and then we'll go from there again now let's compare the base number for headshot damage, for strength it's 378 and for int it's 317, still a big number difference but let's include a gem and see what happens with critical hit damage and if we can close the gap a little bit. Now that we have included the gem, you can see the numbers doesn't have that big of a difference. We've got 378 damage for strength and 371 damage for intelligence since it also has a little bit of extra critical hit damage with the intelligence tree. So the numbers not that big of a difference at this point. It doesn't really matter if you go strength or intelligence, if you go crit or with an auto attack. You only lose a little bit of damage but i also want to test the blunderbuss skills what about the mortar and the spitting grenades how do they affect the damage if we go pure strength or pure intelligence again i'm going to test just the base numbers and then include a gem but we also have another thing to consider is the burn damage from splitting grenade so I'm going to test the burn duration and the burn damage as well to see how that compares with just regular strength and the regular int. So I'm going to test it against regular strength to see how that compares with intelligence. So let's dive right into it. Okay. 
first we compare the motor shot the motor shot will do 1428 damage with strength and compare it to int where we only get 1349 int damage still a big damage difference between the two now i am going to slot a gem back into the blunderbuss to see how it compares For the motor shot, their damage is pretty close, only a free difference damage. Strength has 1016 damage and int has 1013 damage. So strength wins out over intelligence again, but only by a little bit. But I don't know if you have noticed, if we slot in an int gem, you're going to see the damage reduces significantly. I have no idea why. As you can see the previous skill where we didn't have an int gem slotted we did 1428 damage with strength but just because we slotted in an int gem we now only do 1016 damage with strength same goes for the int damage if we have just regular int in the, in the blunderbuss then we do 1349 damage but as soon as we slot in an int gem, then we only do 1013 damage. I believe this is probably a bug. This is not supposed to happen. I don't know why this happens really. But in all theory, I don't think this should happen at all. I didn't take any extra passives or anything. I just took the regular skills so that I can keep it even. So let's continue and see does this even affect the burn damage probably this is just a bug and hopefully they fix it before live since this is still the ptr but let's take a look at the burn damage and duration So for the burn damage on splitting grenades, int does a lot more damage, but we also get a lot more uptime on the burn duration, that this is why we get more damage. In theory, if we just compare the base numbers, yes, strength does more damage if we don't compare the duration of the things, but in total, with the extra time that we get from the int passive in the int tree the burn duration increases so int comes out on top by almost three seconds more burn duration if you spec into int so if you're planning on using splitting grenades with the burn passive then you should definitely go int since your burns will be up a lot longer so int wins out on this one so what is the conclusion of this all well if you want to go int or strength it doesn't really matter as long as you slot in an int gem if you slot in an int gem your auto attacks for intelligence will basically do the same amount of damage as strength you'll have about a 5 or a 7 damage difference depending if you crit or if you don't crit but overall the main thing that i'm worried about is slotting in an int gem and having your skills do a significantly less damage even with strength and intelligence both of the motor shots did significantly less damage just because we slotted in an int gem so overall both of them are pretty good strength still comes out on top mostly just by a little bit of damage here and there but overall they are pretty good both of them if you slot in an int gem for intelligence if you like this video then don't forget to drop a like and if you want to see more videos from me just like this then you can subscribe and i'll see you in my next video